Hey, Michiana. Good morning. This We are now outside of the studio going for gold. Right here behind us, we're playing a little bit of cornhole this morning as we highlight some of our athletes and the organization Special Olympics Marshall and Stark Counties. Now, they have been super busy this summer. I was talking with one of their coordinators, Joe, about everything they have been going on with. We've been going from basketball to cornhole to every kind of sport in between, including a softball tournament coming up this weekend. Now this morning, I do want to introduce both Joe and Jackie. Come on in, guys, this morning. They are from Special Olympics, Marshall and Stark Counties. Thank you guys for waking up with us. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you for having us. Well, first things first, let's highlight really what you do, just in case anybody doesn't know about Special Olympics and your mission. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Special Olympics, uh, our mission is to provide year-round uh, Olympic-type sports for uh, athletes with uh, intellectual disabilities. Um, we are new to the program, so um, we started, this is our, our first year uh, with the restart of the Marshall and Stark County program. Uh, we started with a basketball program. Uh, we rolled into summer games where we did uh, bowling, track, and swimming. And now we're into the EKS season where we have um, softball and cornhole. Well, hey, you're in your first year, it seems like you're doing fantastic. How has turnout been an interest in this so far for Stark and Marshall? So it's been awesome. So in basketball, when we first started, we only had about 14 athletes. Um, we had enough to have two basketball teams, and they both went to state. And then um, we went into summer games. We had 30 athletes go to Terre Haute for three days. And then um, now we're in softball and cornhole. And we have, <laughs> yes, and we have, um, we're, we're close to 70 athletes now. So, and oh we, we've not. In your first year. In our first year. <laughs> oh, wow. So out of those 70 athletes, we are fortunate enough to bring two to you this very early Friday morning. So, hey, let's walk over this way, Danny. I wanted to talk a little bit. And, of course, you guys know I love sports and games and being interactive with everybody I meet. So I had to bring out the cornhole boards. Bobby, come on over. <laughs> Ooh, we're getting a few throws in. Oh, come on. We got one more. Okay, see, they, they were getting some practice in ahead of me. This morning, I am joined by Bobby Bunting. He is one of our athletes. Good morning, Bobby. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing great. How are you? Good. And sneak on in here, Asher. Come on in. Or maybe he wants to be next to mom. Fun fact, Jackie and Asher are family. So it's nice to meet you both this morning. He's throwing a little cornhole, too, with Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, all right, let's start. How old are you? 63. I know that's not usually a very kind thing to ask, but hey, we've got Asher over here. How old are you, Asher? Mm -hmm. How yes. How yes. old are you? How old are you? Tell her. Tell her how old. Ten. You are two hands old. So I just wanted to show the range of athletes and ages and abilities that are a part of Special Olympics. How long have you been part of Special Olympics? Fourteen years. Fourteen years. Whatever made you want to join? Because I love the athlete. I love people like Jordan Jackie that run the show, mm -hmm. that shows kindness, careness, love for everybody. Oh, and you guys know I love spreading the love too. So talking sports real quick, what do you like to do sports wise? Softball, basketball, bowling, track and field. So just about everything he's involved in. Okay, so let's put those skills to the test, okay? Bobby, I'm going to have you stand on this side of the cornhole board. Will you help me a little bit and we can do a little game here? Sure. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to set my phone down. Here's one of those. My man, Asher, you want to do me a favor and grab those bags down there? Oh, Joe's on it. Perfect. All right, I'm going to let you throw first. We'll throw two bags each, and we'll see what we can make happen, okay? You got it. All right, these are for you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. And here we go. Okay, we got me next. Okay, I'm going to go. All right, Michigan, here we go. Woo! Oh, I missed the board. Okay. Oh, okay, let's see if I can back online. One lucky one, right? Let's go. Woo! There it is. Oh, just short. But hey, it takes a lot of practice to be able to make this happen. And you've had a busy summer. This week, what have you been up to with Special Olympics? Basketball practice and softball practice. So, Joe, you were telling me a little bit that there's a softball tournament this week in Indy. Is Bobby going to be there? Bobby is going to be there. Perfect. Tell me about what is happening this week. So there's a tournament in Shelbyville. Uh, we're taking 23 athletes down to Shelbyville this Saturday. Um, we have 17 on a softball team, and we also have some skills athletes as well. Um, Bobby is one of our pitchers. Ooh, Bobby with the arm. How are you feeling ahead of this weekend? Are you excited for the game? I'm pumped. 
Perfect. And hey, let's keep that energy going. We want people to be able to come out and enjoy this tournament and plus everything else that Marshall and Stark County's Special Olympics has to offer. If you take a quick look at your screen, you're actually taking a look at their Facebook page. This is the best way to stay up to date on everything that is going on for Special Olympics in Marshall and Stark counties. But hey, from the crew out here live of ABC 57 Studios, I'm Summer Haran with ABC 57 News. We're going to send it back inside and be back after this commercial break.